Hello. I hope this video finds you and your loved ones well during this time of social distancing. Um, every night that we're in this situation, I'm going to record one coding bat, and hopefully I don't get through them all. Um, if you have any questions, whether you're a student of mine or just someone who's just learning to code, please don't hesitate to send me a question or request. And with that, let's dive in. We are going to look at Python warm-up 1, diff 21. Given an int n, return the absolute difference between n and 21, except return double the absolute difference if n is over 21. Now let's read the test cases and make sure we understand what's, what's happening. The function called diff 21 and past 19, we get 2. And that's because the difference between 19 and 21 is 2. We see diff 21, 10 returns 11, and that's because the difference between 21 and 10 is 11. Diff 21, 21 gives us 0, and that's because the difference between 21 and 21 is 0. Now you might notice that these test cases don't give any situation where n is greater than 21. And what this problem does is it will calculate, it will calculate double the difference if n is greater than 21. Now let's, before we do the answer, let's make sure we understand what absolute difference means. The absolute difference means you're going to generate a positive value. So in mathematics, the absolute value um, just takes a value and makes it positive. So the absolute value of 7 is 7. The absolute value of negative 7 is 7. Now as opposed to type this out, I've actually written quite a long um, couple solutions here, and what I'm going to do is I'll take you through each of these and kind of talk about why I've written it this way. So we have a little note here that all the other examples return Boolean so far. This example returns an integer. Always pay attention to the return type. So why am I writing this? If you're working through warm-up one in sequence, all the ones previous to this return a Boolean but this returns a double, we can, sorry, returns an integer, which we can see here. And you always want to think about return type. Return type is what is a function giving back? Python, you don't have to specify return type. You don't have to say that an integer will be returned or a double will be returned. You can return whatever you want. So notice, I can return if I want happy and hit go. And I get them all wrong, but it still runs. Equally, I could return 99, and I still get them all run wrong, and it still runs. If you were working in Java, Java specifies the return type. And if I tried to return something other than an integer in this case, I would get an error. The first approach we take here is um, this is a case where we need to first check the value of n. Once we know that we can, once we know that, we can decide if we send the absolute difference or the absolute difference times 2. And here it is right here. We simply take if n is greater than 21, we return n minus 21 times 2, else we return n minus 21. And that works perfectly fine. No problem. The next approach, we do a slightly modified approach. And I'll be honest, this approach here to me is, is an ideal approach. The second approach it's a little has a couple lines that aren't necessary, but it highlights a nice technique. So in this modified approach, um, notice that in both cases we calculate the difference, and the order matters based on the size of n. So notice here, because n is greater than 21, we take n minus 21 and times it by 2, but we'll reach this return statement if n is less than 21. So we say 21 minus n. That means we're returning the absolute difference, the positive difference. But what we can do is we can use this nice built-in function called absolute, which is short form to ABS. And what this does is this will take the difference, or whatever value is inside here, and return the absolute value. So if I do ABS 7, that's going to generate 7. If I do ABS negative 7, that's also going to return 7. So all it does is takes whatever the value that is passed as a parameter and returns the positive version of that. Some of you might have seen this in math class. 
absolute values in math class are brackets that look like this. You could say, well, not or. Another example would be negative 7 would equal positive 7. So this is the mathematical notation for absolute value. This is how Python represents it. So what we do is we first find the difference, and then we check if n is greater than 21, we return the difference times 2. Otherwise, we return the difference. And it works fine. Again, this technique is simply to highlight this use of absolute value, which is quite useful if you need to find the difference of two numbers and you don't know which one is the larger one. So now we get into some fun approaches. Often, um, students will try and one-line these. I know I had one student, and she worked through, um, I think, the bulk of the coding back problems doing them as one-liners, which is a fun challenge sometimes, but I do recommend you get comfortable writing them out with multiple lines first. So Python supports a single line conditional statement that we can use in this case. So I could say, you know, the absolute value if n is greater than 21, else the absolute value of n minus 21. And this is a nice, this is a nice single line if statement here. And we run this, works fine. And finally, here we have this approach to, I'm really proud of this one, but it's horribly designed in terms of readability. Um, I'm going to leave this one for you to dissect because I've been talking for six minutes in this one, but this was me playing around one night and just trying to find a way to do it without using an if statement. So what this one takes advantage of, and here I go explaining it, is it takes advantage of of the min function and then by adding 0 0.5 to the value it kind of will pull out the correct one and then it rounds appropriately. Maybe I'll make another video and actually go through this one in more detail with that said. All right, but just to show you it does work. Um, so I hope this video helped. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to send me a message. Have a great day. Bye-bye.